Hello everyone, welcome back to Lindsay's Built. Thought we'd uh, do a little unboxing, this is the second kit I bought today. So, uh, hope you'll go down to the camera and see what it is. So, it's a little academy kit. Uh, scale is uh, 1288 Space Shuttle and Booster Rockets by Academy now I've had a look inside this already and uh, hmm. it's a little, little, dis little bit disappointed but I'll show you why it's got a nice little box out there wasn't it So, I do like the box art. A lot box art is nice, very very nice. Okay, so get rid of these bits. So this is. Uh, the shuttle, the shuttle there. Not many parts to it. What's the underneath? There's the top. Here are the little bits and pieces. And everything else. The only thing I was disappointed with it, there is no glass. All the windows, no glass whatsoever. So that will be a case of either using crystal clear, or I'll have to put a clear acrylic sheet underneath there. So it looks as though it's got some windows. So that was one drawback. So that's a point taken away from it. So it's not a hundred percent to me. Uh, there's a little bit of flash on it in parts, not too much, it's not heavy in flash. So, it's not too bad. So that's that part. This is only going to be a quick video because there's not many parts on it. So that's the shuttle. Then we have a stand, which is pretty, you can make pretty nice and pretty pretty decent stand out of this nice paint job nice spray job uh, you got this bit of the front here to uh, put the name plate on space shuttle I suppose so quite tidy uh, not much flash on it just a little bit of sanding other than that it's all right Uh, this is the booster rocket. Uh, so there's not that many parts to this. But I think it'll make a decent build. I think we can get a decent build on it. So a little bit of tidying up. Uh, excuse me. A little bit of tidying up. It should look all right. Nice paint job. It's like I say, the only drawback to it is there is no glass, no glass whatsoever. Uh, then you've got some uh, decals. Uh, this is for the stand, that bit. Then you've got your just your normal uh, name. You can either do it Atlantis, Columbia, Enterprise, Endeavour or Discovery. Uh, so there's nothing too fancy there and you know the American flags stuff like that so all in all boxing yes it's a good box uh, like I say I like the lift off lids uh, it's quite a sturdy box so it's not flimsy box 
packaging. Yeah, it's pretty good in packaging. Nothing's all run together, really. Uh, the um, rocket boosters are in a separate bag. Uh, you've got your decals, which are bagged, which is good. You don't see that very often. They're bagged. Uh, two, two sprues in there. Uh, top and bottom of the shuttle. Nothing broken. It's quite quite nicely sealed. So got your stand. That's floating around in the box. Uh, and you got your instructions. Instruction pamphlet. Another picture there of the space shuttle. It's, uh, I take it this is quite in incorrect. So, just pretty simple instructions. Putting the shuttle together, not too many parts. And then you've got your booster rockets. Uh, your you colour call out, which is basically white and flat black, metallic grey. And then you've got all your uh, transfers. So it's colour call out and transfers all on one part. But uh, it's basically just three colours, really. Not too much. But uh, a bit of detail painting. You can make it like a nice little build. I say the only drawback was that it had no clear, 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 clear glass. So, yeah. So, as a kit, uh, box wise, yeah, I give that a good rating. Um, quality wise, it's not too bad. Uh, lack of parts, especially the windows, uh, that's a big down. That's a no no to me. Uh, so yeah, we'll knock a few more points off that. So yeah, so I'll say overall, I'll give the kit seven, seven out of ten because uh, having no glass really, really lets this down. Uh, detail wise, mm, it lacks detail, but you, I'm sure. You could bring all the detail back into it, especially uh, the booster rockets. Uh, subscribing lines in it. It's, uh, well, the, the, the lines are raised on this part, but see how it goes when it actually gets painted. But uh, there's a couple of sink marks in it, one there. So that will need filling. So quality wise, I'll give it a six out of ten. Six, six out of ten. So in overall quality, kit, box, I'd say I did say an eight, but since I've seen that sink mark in it, we'll go a bit lower, bit small, bit lower. So five out of ten. But it uh, depends on, on the modeler how much you want to bring the detail out of it. Um, I'm sure it can be made into a good model. But uh, I think the actual shuttle lacks length. It's quite short and stubby. Uh, especially uh, to the booster rockets. Which is quite short and stubby. So... Quite cartoonish, cartoonish, if you ask me. Uh, a bit like a tune build. But uh, that does lack in length. Yeah. I suppose it can be made into a good good kit. Especially if you put it in a diorama. It, uh, that's that. Which is the Academy Scale 1288 Space Shuttle plus Booster Rockets by Academy.
which is hobby model kits. So that's where you can see a yeah, bit of photographs of the model. It doesn't look too bad. Another one pops off on the side. Yeah, was a little bit disappointed in the kit, but hey ho, for a, for nine quid, brand new. I you know what do you expect, really, for nine quid? So that's the unboxing of the space shuttle and booster rockets by Academy. So we'll go back up. So that's that, that's that kit. I mean, for a cheap kit, yeah, you know, you got what you paid for, really. But it's like I say, I was disappointed because there was no glass for those windows. So it's going to be a case of crystal clear or a cre uh, clear acrylic sheet. So there you go. So I will build this on the channel with the other one I bought so if you do like the content give it a good thumbs up uh, thank you all for my subscribers and uh, if there's anybody new new that comes along and you like the content it's plenty of live feeds and stuff like that as well uh, like subscribe push the notification button thank you very much guys see you on the next one bye bye